So I guess this is the fifth video of um, myself trying to document myself, trying to make a side scroller or platformer game in Java. So this time around, there's a few programming changes, but most of the changes and most of the effort was spent in drawing out uh, pixels and trying to make a nice looking set of tiles and set of sprites, which turned out very hard for me. Um, so just to recap, we started with a very basic um, black circle jumping around on some rectangles, uh, then moved to a uh, black circle jumping around in some colored rectangles that was drawn by a letter, level editor uh, to a sprite, which was jumping around on slightly prettier um, rectangles. Um, finally, the last video, we had um, kind of a pseudo game where the sprite was jumping around, killing enemies, dying, jumping on bosses. So this time around, I wanted to make, um, kind of the goal was to make a like a really small, like kind of two level, but uh, standing on its own kind of game. Uh, and most of this was al already put together. I just had to spend a lot of time putting artwork together uh, and tweaking the game flow a bit. So here's what the what it looks like when I run it. Um, and just to to recap on 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 how how we got there, uh, started drawing out tiles. Um, and you can do this a number of different ways. So I happen to use fireworks because uh, I had it on the computer. You can also use paint or any kind of cheap. Uh, uh, drawing software. You can also use um, some um, stuff that's made specifically for drawing out tile sets and terrains. And one of them is called Pickle, and that allows you to, uh, to 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 see what your terrain looks like and make sure that uh, you can that the tiles meld together well and actually don't look like super periodic. Um, but yeah, once that's done, uh, you see we have a number of different tiles, which previously would just be yes or no, a tile there is there or not, or maybe it's a bit red or green. And it turned out incorporating a more complicated tile set into my level editor uh, was just a huge pain. So I started fishing around for what other people did and I found a really nice uh, tile editor called Tiled, which uh, is a professional programmer, I'm sure, programming professionally, unlike me. So uh, it's a really cool program which actually just lets you take in this tile set we've drawn, drawn um, you have a number of different tile sets you can draw, and they all can exist on different layers. Um, so we have that, and we can actually just draw out our level. So here's a level I was drawing out before, uh, where the player starts and everything, um, which is um, a lot easier and a lot nicer. Now, once we're done editing it, uh, we could just save it to this XML file. Um, and we see we have all these properties, where to find the tile sets, um, how wide the tiles are, etc. And then there's a bunch of layers, which we can put um, in the game as things that we'll be colliding with or things that are just to be drawn. And each one of them is just given by this comma-separated matrix here. Um, and we can ignore all the zeros when we actually load it into the game. So that's great. Um, a lot of the programming was things like getting this file, modifying uh, my program to get this file into the program. But that, that's not too bad. So once that's done, you have a nice looking level. The next thing to draw is uh, sprites. So there's this ASE program here, A Sprite, I guess it's called, I'm not actually sure, uh, which allows you to just kind of pixel by pixel draw a sprite and then modify it so you can kind of give these cheap little animated sprites. So here's an example enemy that I was drawing for the game. Uh, it's walking around, kind of looks like the Grim Reaper or something. Um, and once you've saved this, it just saves it in a strip. Uh, 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 to a sprite sheet, which you can then just load into your program and then load the in images or draw the images however you want. <clears throat> so once that's all said and done, we have uh, we just have to incorporate those new changes into the game, and every, most of the majority of the code at least is the same. So we can try uh, giving it a shot. So here's a little run through of the of the game. So we have our introductory screen here with our introductory music. familiar music from last time and now you can just run around and squash on the enemies which have their own cheesy side effects. There's a few things like an over-the-top death sound. Some of these waves that is found online uh, and the MIDI stuff is just drawn. So we can run around now. Kill these dangerous looking robots. This Grim Reaper fellow.
boss mode. Same old boss. No harder than before. Very cheesy uh, winning music, but moderately original this time. And it just goes on, and here's the second level. Um, and it keeps going uh, like this until you either pass the game, and I won't give a spoiler of the awesome graphic it gives if it does that, um, or you have a game over. And then the game starts again. So that's kind of what it's looking uh, like so far. So that's where it stands now. Um, I've also wrapped this entire thing and packed it into a jar file. I've included a link. There's also the source code there, all zipped up. But the jar file allows you to click it and play it just like it's an executable on any system, as long as that system has Java. Um, and that's it for now. So the next stage, I'm not even sure yet, but I think it will involve not uh, square tiles, slopes, uh, as well as non um, uh, Mario-like attacks. So instead of just jumping on things and squashing them, the player will be able to do a little bit more things to make it a bit more fun. So there's like wall jumps and things like that. And after that, I think that'll be it for this game. Um, but it's starting to slightly resemble something that I hoped it would look like in the end. Um, so yeah, well, thanks for watching, and I'll post the next video whenever I do something. <laughs>